rappers and music producers. It's Curtis King and CurtisKingBeats.com answering the question, Curtis, should I be worried about marketing my work if I'm just a beginner and I don't really have a fan base? Let's talk about it. Rappers and music producers, I don't know what level of expertise that you are at right now, but I know a lot of my community are rappers and music producers that are just starting out in their career. And many of you have a very common question. This question being, should you be focused on spending money on marketing if you are just beginning? You got your beats out there, you got your songs out there, and you're like, man, I feel like even though I'm a beginner, I'm a lot different than most beginners. And I feel like it's worthy of people actually listening to it. And if they listen to it, I feel like they'd actually like what I have going going on. Even if that is true, let me hopefully guide you away from the mindset of just spin, 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 spin and hope something happens. The thing about it is, my friends, we are not playing the lottery and you are not playing the lottery with your career. You don't have to, at least I should say. Some people like playing it. Some people like risk, like that game risk. They just love playing risk. Some people just love, you know, the feeling of their heart being at a, at a million paces per second and they feel like, yeah, that makes me feel alive. For those of you that are like that, go thrill seek, go Put your money and spend it on whatever you want to. I whatever. That's your world. That's your life. For those of us that are pretty much like myself, you do not want to get into the habit of trying to spend your way through the natural progression that is going to happen anyways. You don't want to spend your money hoping that that's going to open up some level of growth that just does not occur. Because let me ask you this: What happens when, in the very beginning, when it's not even just your art that is undeveloped, but your mindset is underdeveloped? The way that you interpret your own art is under develop because you don't even know what your art is yet. When you put money behind it, let's say best case scenario, you have 10,000 people that you grow within a, a, a month that come and follow what you're doing. Let me tell you what's going to happen when you get that, especially as someone in, that's a beginner in that position. You're going to feel a need of responsibility. That happens for any level. Like I feel a responsibility to 120,000 subscribers, but I've been doing these videos for so long, I don't feel any pressure, right? I know that it's the same energy that took me from zero to a thousand is the same energy it took from a thousand to ten thousand and ten thousand to one hundred thousand i realize that it's just my growth that that's the only thing that matters right not what i think oh what do they want now and when you get into that mindset of trying to figure out what they want now you lose yourself at the core and there's so many people who are like okay 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 i'm getting good now i need to get people who are fans of what i'm doing when if you're good at what you're doing especially if you're excellent if you're just if you're one of the most uncommon of the most uncommon people are going to get to you right i know you may be impatient and you want things to take off you're seeing people around you that are having more success or it seems like they're having more success have patience 10 times out of 10 brute force does not get it done what i have found is that the most fluid and the most successful times have came after moments of patience so for you as a beginner you must be patient with your process that doesn't mean slow it down it doesn't mean that you have to you know wait a few years before you market yourself here's the thing about it you have to understand what does marketing even mean in the beginning you you are in a learning process, right? You're learning your art, which to me, I think that's more important than learning marketing. Learning your art is more important than anything else first and foremost, because if you don't have a product that has quality behind it, it doesn't matter how much marketing you have, at some point in time, that business is going to dwindle down and thin out and then nobody's going to care, no matter how great of a marketer you are. You're just gonna take those marketing skills and take it to a new product. But if music is your passion, spend your time with the music first. Develop that up, right? And I'm not saying that there's a certain number, there's not a certain year. You just to develop it up i would say if you have a few hundred beats right you have those sitting around and you're starting to notice that the jump in growth is not as grand as it was in the very beginning because in the very beginning you don't even know how to turn fl studio on but then you're learning you're like okay growth is crazy and then you make a drum loop and you're like oh my god a week ago i couldn't even make a drum loop and then you're doing that and then when you notice that your growth is only going from okay i composed this song and now i'm trying to compose a song that actually has a bridge that's growth, but it's not as crazy of a jump. When you're in that space, that's when you're starting to get a good grasp on your art form. When you get that grasp, then 
Start to learn about marketing. Don't just spend your money dumbly through all. That's what I did, and that wasn't the greatest thing to do. All right, it's a great lesson to learn. Failure is don't avoid failure. I'm not trying to get you to avoid failure. If you want to go out there right now and spend money on Facebook ads, by all means, just don't go spending your life insurance. Don't <laughs> don't go spending all your money into ads if you don't got it. Just if you don't got it, you don't got it. Focus on learning what marketing is. Then understand, okay, what exactly do I want my approach to be? Do I want to market on Instagram? Do I want to market on Facebook? Do I have a preference for either or? Do I already have sort of a following on one of these and maybe I should focus more on that? Should I be doing Twitter ads? You won't know until you try. You won't know just sitting on YouTube videos all day and trying to figure out for somebody else to make a decision for your business. You won't figure out that way. Only you have the ability to make stat-based decisions. You will only make stat-based decisions once you've already made decisions. Stats are a result of action. Get some action. So should you be marketing your beats in the very beginning? Look, you should be sharing your beats. This is an aspect of marketing, right? There's nothing wrong with getting a little feedback here and there, but for the most part, they don't even understand your art because you don't understand your own art. Spend more time with your art. Let it become what it's becoming, right? Don't be so in a rush to jump a few steps ahead. Look, appreciate the process. Love every ugly part of this process. When your drums is sounding nipply understand and love that part of it like rub on the, the, the titty i'm just playing <laughs> understand the process love the process and then as it starts to develop i'm telling you you will become such a beast because you're not just developing yourself as a producer or as a rapper in that very beginning stage you're you're you are developing yourself as a learner right you're understanding what it requires for you to grow so when you understand those mechanics and you start to kind of exercise those new muscles they're gonna be sore in the beginning right you're not gonna be perfect at it but as you develop those you can take those skills over to other things how was I able to learn how to make beats and then learn how to do Photoshop and then learn how to video edit because my learning skills were developing very strongly and as I developed these learning skills I translated that over to other things and mostly learning for me the biggest problem I had patience I just had to be more patient with myself and I'm asking you to do the same thing so instead of trying to jump a few steps ahead if you're in the very beginning focus on the problem Focus on the art form. Go 110 on that. Have a catalog behind it. Because let me let you know, that's the last thing I want to leave you with. Once you have catalog, once you have a bunch of music behind you, it's going to be so much easier to know where you need to move next. What do I need to market first? Because now you have an abundance of music behind you. It's so difficult trying to go in your mind and say, I only made three beats, but man, I think this is the one and I hope it's the one. It has to be the one. If it's not the one, then oh, no, people are not gonna ever listen to another beat from me. It's too frustrating. Don't put that kind of pressure on yourself, especially in the beginning. You're not asked to do anything. Have no expectations, but to have as much fun as possible. And so be a student, a lifelong student, and to learn as much stuff as you can. This is the fun part. Stop making it such a job. Have fun. And this is life you would not be full of life until you decide to live life to its fullest. It's Curtis, the leading voice of the online music producer and rapper community. Don't at me, man. Peace. Please subscribe to the channel below. Curtis King, CurtisKingBeats.com.